Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Ok, ¿cómo están? Good evening. Good evening. Bien. Ok. Bueno, que me alegro que estén bien. Creo que algunos no se van a poder conectar por el hecho de la tormenta. Esperemos que no se vaya a desconectar, que no se vaya a ir la luz. Y si tienen algún inconveniente, háganmelo saber en el chat de Zoom. Porque WhatsApp, por alguna razón, no me permite abrir la eh, plataforma o la aplicación. Ok. Um, let's review yesterday's topic. Actually, we were studying some, uh, I mean, an specific topic, but because of the time, we were not able to complete it. So yesterday's topic was about likes and dislikes. Do you remember? Likes and dislikes. Okay. Yes. So uh, Samuel, tell me all the things that you like and the things that you dislike. Hola, ¿cómo? Perdón, no, 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 no le escuché muy bien. Um, what we are going to uh, do right now is to review the use of like and dislike. For example, I can say I like water and I dislike coffee, for example. Okay. Okay. So okay. what are your dislikes? I mean, likes and dislikes. What are your likes and dislikes that's the question okay. uh -huh. i like uh, it pupusas i like to eat or i like eating remember you have two okay, options okay. ing and infinity okay i like to eat pupusas mm -hmm. okay i don't like uh, eat uh pipian <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Patricia, for letting me know. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Remember that you can say, I like to eat or I like eating. Yes, uh, Lydia, tell me your dislikes. I mean, what are your likes and dislikes? <clears throat> okay. Uh, I like... Um, um, in the dance, dance. Mm -hmm. I don't like um, the soda. Okay. The soda. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ephemer, tell me your likes and dislikes. Hello. Uh, Hi. I like uh, to drink Fanta, but I hate Coca-Cola. Okay, thank you. Or I dislike. Uh, Sylvia. What are your likes and dislikes? Hello, I like to watch anime and I don't like watching the news. Okay. Hector, what are your likes and dislikes? Um, let me think. Okay. I like eat. I like eat pizza and I like eating or I like to eat. Ah, okay. I like to eat pizza and, and I just like, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I just like snakes. Okay, snacks. Okay, Alejandro, tell me all your, or oh, what are your likes and dislikes? Um, I like uh, play soccer. Playing soccer, yes. Uh, I dislike um, beer. Okay, beers. Leyland, what are your likes and dislikes? I like listening to music. And Listening I, and uh, to listen, listen to. I like listening uh, to music. Uh -huh. 
Uh, and this like um, Sora. Okay. Eugenio, what are your likes and dislikes? Uh, good night. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I like to travel. Mm -hmm. And I dislike get up at late. Okay. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Now, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. I'm going to show it straight away. Can you see it or not yet? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, let's see, Lydia, can you please read the objective for today's lesson, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions in questions okay great now let's go ahead and listen to a video there you go In I this think it's lesson, loading. Participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, guys, what I want you to do, I'm going to read those questions and I want you to repeat them at the same time. Actually, I'm going to select some of you, okay? So the first one, do you like to watch TV? Sylvia, repeat it. Okay, do you like to watch TV? Okay, select one of your classmates, ask the same question. Okay. Samuel, do you like to watch TV? Samuel? Yes, yes, I like to watch TV. Okay, if I ask you a question, do you like to watch TV? What is the best answer, Samuel? Okay, yes, I like to watch TV. Uh, my my favorite program is uh, when Barcelona play. Okay, Brenda, if I ask you, do you like to watch TV? What, what will be the best answer? Yes, I like to watch TV. No, guys. Yes, I do. Thank you, Sylvia. I yes, okay. I do. I like to watch when Barcelona plays. Primero tienen que responder, yes, I do. And then you can give more information. Eugene, repeat the question. Do you like music? Do you like music? Okay, select one of your classmates, ask the same question. Okay. Um, Geraldine. Mm -hmm. Do you like to watch TV? To watch TV? Yes, I do. My favorite kind of music is pop. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. I'm going to select another one. Uh, let's FM. Oh, Thank you. Ephemer, ready? 
Do you play a musical instrument? Ephemer? Okay, let me select another one. Sandra. Uh, okay. Sandra, do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't. I don't like play the the instrument. I don't like playing the instruments. Thank you, David. Repeat the question. What programs do you like? What what programs do you like? Okay, select one of your classmates and ask the same question. Okay. Francisco. Mm -hmm. What what programs do you like? Repeat her please. What programs do you like? Okay. The programs um, like is the music. I like musical programs. Sí. Mm -hmm. I like musical programs. Kevin, repeat the question. What videos do you like? <clears throat> what videos do you like? Okay, ask a question to one of your classmates. Select a classmate and ask that question. Okay, Adriana, mm -hmm. uh, what videos do you like? I like comedy videos. Okay, thank you. Lydia, repeat the same the next question. Which musical instrument do you play? Okay. Which musical instrument do you play? Okay, select one of your classmates and ask the same question. Okay. Uh, um, Hector Jose. Hector. Hector Jose. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I don't play any instrument. Okay. Thank you. Now let's move to the next objective. It says, "In this lesson, sorry, in this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about contestants." Now let me go ahead and show it to you. Mm -hmm. I think it's loading. Uh, okay. Once you can listen to the audio, let me know. I'm going to read the instructions and it says, Listen to four people on a TV show. Uh, three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Choose the correct answers for each participant. Okay, let me go ahead and play it. I want you to take notes. Tome nota. As long as it it plays. For some reason, it cannot be played. Let me try one more time. Teacher, double, double click, please. Double click, okay, thank you. Let's see. Mm. No, it doesn't work. No funciona. Eh, creo que ha seleccionado arriba, entonces tiene que seleccionar la, el cuadrito y luego darle play. Ok, thank you. Eh, teacher, yes. tiene que esperar que le, sal, que le salga la mano. Sale una mano a la, pla, a la par de donde dice play. Ok. Tiene que esperar que le salga una mano. Y ahí okay. se le da. Ok, thank you. Vamos a ver. Let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, there you go. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What yes, kind of cool. things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Pueden escuchar. Can you listen to? Yes. Yes. Okay. I got it. Yes. Take notes. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, guys, I was able to answer some of the questions, okay, to help you out, because you will be the, the ones completing those questions. So, Alejandro, for number one, what kinds of music does Bill like? Is that classical, jazz, rock, or pop? Classical. Okay, I'm okay with that. Thank you. So, Hector, what kinds of movies does Bill like? Uh... If I don't have a mistake, mm -hmm. thrillers. Thrillers, okay. Uh, Alexandra, what kinds of TV programs does Bill like? Is that news programs? I don't remember, sir. You don't remember? No. Eugene, what kinds of TV programs does Bill like? New program. News programs, thank you. Brenda. What kinds of music does John like? He liked the jazz. Yes, okay. Uh, Samuel, what kinds of movie does John like? Uh, yes. That shows. That shows. Or uh, number five, right? Yes. Oh, you really know. Who has number five? What kinds Western. of movies? Cool. Westerns. Okay. Thank you. Sylvia, what kinds of TV program does John like? Talk shows. Talk shows. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's see, Norma Leticia, what kinds of music does Tony like? Rock. Are you sure? Okay, Adriana, what kinds of movie does Tony like? Hey, Adriana Garcia? I'm here, uh, um, I don't know, Fisher. Okay, who has that answer? Horror, horror films. Horror films. Horror horror films. films. Okay, baby, what kinds of TV programs does Tony like? Baby? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I think Hi. 
shoes and gaijon. Okay. And Francisco Valdomar. Shows. Okay. What kinds of music does Linda like? Pop. Uh huh. Pop. Okay. Pop. Thank you. Ana Flores. What kinds of movie does Linda like? Ana, 11. Eh, Sandra, what kinds of movies does Linda like? Horror films. Okay. And the last one. Let's see, Luis. What kinds of TV programs does Linda like? Is child show and game show. Okay, let's see the answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had the number nine wrong. Who has a different answer for number nine? Hello, teacher. And I I think game shop, game shop, show. Game shows, okay. Let's see if you are right. Yes, excellent. Thank you, David. <clears throat> All right, now let's continue. There you also have a less objective and David, can you please help me with this lesson objective? Oh, okay, teacher. Lesson objective. And in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where will will invite invitation and uh, the pronunciation invitation is used when making plans. Okay. Let me play a, a conversation. And we're going to follow a conversation that I sent you on the WhatsApp group. You already had this conversation, so we're going to play with that. Let me just answer to one of your classmates. Catherine says. Okay, Catherine. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. Um, I'm going to read this one. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of would in questions and answers. We are going to uh, start using this grammar part, but I would like you to take notes on your notebooks. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would, verb plus to plus verb. 
Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but <coughs> plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and stop sharing. First of all, I want you to follow the conversation first. I sent a picture with a dialogue. So I need two volunteers. I need two volunteers to follow the dialogue. Who are ready? Raise your teacher, hands, uh, volunteers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I have yes. a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. When when I can use wood, uh, I can use wood uh, the the La respuesta tiene que ser corta o larga. Okay, for example, you can say, uh, let me ask you this question. Would you like to drink a glass of water? This is the student A, right? Would you like to drink a, a glass of water? Okay, so, Previously, I let you know that you can use would for invitations and offers. Invitations and offers. So this is going to be a student A. Would you like to drink a glass of water? That's going to be for a student A. And a student B can say, Yes, I would. Okay. Yes, I would. Or no, I wouldn't. Short answers. Is it clear? Or if you want to refuse, si quieren hacer una abnegación, you can say, I would love or I would like, but I can't. I, for example, if I, if I ask you, uh, David, would you like to drink a cup of, I mean, a cup of coffee? You can say, I would like, but I can't. I can't, I get insomnia, insomnia. Ah, ok. O sea, okay. Sí, sí puedo, pero... Me no gustaría, mucho. pero no puedo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I would like, for example, I, I can ask know. you, uh, Luis, would you like to go to the, movie, to the movie theater on Saturday? You can say, yes, I would. Or... If you want to refuse, you can say, I would like to, or I would love to, but I work on Saturday afternoon. You have two options. The first one, you can say yes or no, or you can say, I would like to, but, pero, me gustaría, pero, I would love to, me encantaría, pero, Mm -hmm. For example, I can say, um, 
Hector, would you like to buy a, a new computer for me? So your answer can be, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. First option. Second option, you can say, I would like to, but I can't. I don't have money. Me gustaría, pero no puedo. No tengo dinero. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Sería, sería como una eh, proposición condicional, algo así. O sea, de condición. Me demuestra una condición. Eh, eh, sí, pero no. Mm, it's a, it's a respect, uh -huh, it's a respectful way of saying no. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you can say, um, would you like to um, give me five dollars? You can say, yes, I would, or I would like I to, would like but to. I don't have it. Mm -hmm. I would like to, but I can't. I don't have money. Yep. So you can say yes or no, first option, or you can you can uh, refuse. I would like to, but mm -hmm, I can't. <clears throat> Is it clear? Yes. Because yes. I have I, two dollars. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case I would love to, mm -hmm. uh, you can continue uh, talking or, or only this. I would love to. One more time. I would love to. Mm -hmm. Es como para afirmar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y se queda ahí o puede seguir alguna oración. No, you can say, I would love to, but I can't. For example, you can, if I ask you, uh, would you like to go to the gym? You can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. That's the first option. Second option, you can say, I would like to, but I can't. I'm sick. Or I would love to, but I can't. I'm sick. Is Ajá, it clear? Y si, y si quiere aceptar la, la, la invitación o la propuesta, por ejemplo, I would love to. I would, you can say, yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sí, sí. All right. Awesome. Now, I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. So that's going to be, let me see, eh, Alexandra and Adriana. Do you have the picture ready? The conversation ready? Yeah. Okay, go yes. ahead, please. Okay. I have tickets to the soccer mat on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Um, mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank you. David and Kevin. <clears throat> okay, teacher. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Yeah, since I'd love to. Uh, what time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I'd, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium 
before the match around uh, 7.30. Okay, let's me at, at the gate. That sounds fine. See you here, there. Thank you, Sylvia and another volunteer, Sylvia and Luis. Okay. Hey. Uh, I am Dave. Uh, I have ticket to soccer match on Friday night. Where would you like to go? Yes, it love to. What time to it start? Start. At 8 p.m. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh. Uh, uh, I like I like to, but I have to work late. That's that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. The match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the great the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you, guys. Anna and Brenda. Wait, wait. Okay, if you have to the soccer match on Friday night, would you like to go? Thanks, I would like to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around the 7.30. Okay, let me at the game. That sounds fine. See you there. You're a mute teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Now, let me go ahead and share with you my computer's screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay, if you see, I sent you some examples. Can you see them? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, so there you have. To offer something, you can use a word, okay? And also to make an invitation. The first question, this is going to be for a Eugene. Would you like some tea? What would be your answer? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't like tea. Okay. No, I wouldn't. Okay. No, I couldn't. <laughs> Thank you. If I ask you this question, Brenda, would you like a glass of water? What would be your answer? Yes, I like the glass of water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me ask this question to Luis Miguel. Would you like a cookie? Yes, I like, mm -hmm. I like, yes, I like you, a cookie. Okay. Yes, I, yes, I would. Or you can also say, according to the conversation, there is another way of answer it. You can say, I would like to, or I would love to as well. The three options are okay. The first option you can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Or you can also say, I would like to. Okay, second option. And the third option is to refuse. You can say, I would like to, but I can't. And then you, you are going to provide a reason. For example, if I, if I say, um, would you like a cookie? So you can say, I would like to, but I can't. I'm on a diet. If you see, you are, you are saying, I would like to, but, which is refusing, and then the reason. 
the reason why you are refusing. Is it clear or not clear? Yes, I got it. Yes. Okay, Geraldine, would you like a magazine? Yes, I would. Okay, I will, you can say, I would love to, yes, I would, or you can refuse. That's the third option. Okay, now let me go ahead and stop sharing. And I would like you to follow the instructions. The first option, first option, first option, first option. You can say, I'm going to type it on Zoom's chat. You can say, yes, I'd, I would like to, I would like to, or you can also say, I would love to, I would love to, okay? Second option. This is to answer the question, okay? Second option, you can say, um, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Wouldn't. And the third option, the last option, third option, to refuse, you can say, I would like to, like to, but I can't. I would like to, comma, but I can't. Okay? And then you need to provide a reason. Okay? You need to provide a reason. The reason why you are refusing. Is it okay? I got it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let me ask the okay. question. Let me ask the question to Brenda. Brenda, would you like a glass of Coke? I'm sorry, Brenda. If you are not using the microphone, turn it off. Si no lo están usando, eh, pónganle mute, por favor. O silencio. Okay, Brenda, would you like to uh, drink a glass of Coke? I will like I would like to, but I can't uh, because uh, I don't I don't. Was I like cut the water? Sorry. Listen to me, teacher. Uh huh. I'm listening to you. I would like mm -hmm. to, but I can't. Okay. And what's the reason? Uh, is the um, se me ha olvidado como se dice desarrollo I don't know what would you like to say <laughs> ¿Qué quiere decir? Eh, pero eh, es um, eh, ¿Cómo puede decirle? Es para el medio ambiente se me ha olvidado como se dice pollution algo así uh, You can say to save the planet, to avoid pollution. Yes, avoid pollution era. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Thank you. Good idea, eh, Brenda. Now let me ask a question to David. David, if I offer you a cup of coffee, I will say, would you like a cup of coffee? What would be your answer? Yes, I like. First option. Yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, okay. first option, yes, I would like to, or I would love to. Second option, yes, I would, no, I wouldn't. Third option, you need to refuse if you are going to refuse something. Okay. Okay, one more time. Uh, would you like to go to a concert? Yes, I, I, would, I would like. Okay, yes, I would, or yes, I will, I would like to. Yes, I would, or yes, I would like to. Uh-huh, 
Okay, thank you. Select one of your classmates, ask a question. It can be an offer, when you are offering something or an invitation. Okay. Uh, Sylvester, would you like to go to the movie? Would you like to go to the movie theater? I would like to, but I can because I have a date. Excellent. An applause for Sylvia and also David. Great job. Okay, Sylvia, select one of your classmates. Okay, and Adriana. Adriana, ready? Yes. Would you like to drink a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee? A coffee. Cup of coffee. Yes. Yes, I would like to a cup of coffee because I have a headache. Okay. Thank you. Adriana, select one of your classmates. Mm. Lydia. Mm -hmm. Lydia, would you like to go with me to the gym? Would you like to go to the gym with me? Um Yes, I will. Um, yes, I would like to. Yes, I would like to. Okay. Thank you. Lydia, select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Okay. Um, Samuel. Yes. Uh, would you like to dance with me? What? Okay. <laughs> no, no. Would you would you like to dance with me? She said. <laughs> yes, I I would. Yes, I would like, but I can't because I have to work late. Okay, you are refusing. Okay. I would like to. Okay, or remember that you can you can ask. I mean, you can answer using the contraction. I I'd like to. Or I'd love to. That's the contraction. I'd like to or I'd love to, which is the same of saying I would like to or I would love to. La contracción I'd es la contracción de I would. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Samuel. Select one of your classmates. Ask an invitation okay. or an offer. Okay, uh, Norma Leticia. Norma Leticia? Yes, I'm here. Okay, would you like go to room with me? What? <laughs> Run? you... Running the correr? Ah, yes. oh, okay, yes. okay, yes. I got it. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the reason why, that's the reason why I said that the next bird should be, would you like to go running or would you like to oh. go to run? Because what you said, would you like to go to room? Te gustaría ir al cuarto. So... <laughs> It's not, I mean, it shouldn't be like that. There should, there is going to be a misunderstanding, okay? It's not the same saying, would you like to go running or would you like to go to run? Than saying what you said. Puede haber un malentendido, entonces, we need to be careful, okay? Tenemos que ser cuidadosos con eso. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, okay. Now, let's see. Uh, the last one, Norma. Uh, select one of your classmates. Um, Norma Crespin. Mm -hmm. Would you like some coffee? No. 
Okay, one more time. I didn't I didn't hear the answer. Uh, Kevin. Okay. Would you like some coffee? Okay, would you like would you like some coffee? Uh, yes, uh, I would like to I would like to, but uh, I can I can't sleep at night. Okay. But in that case, if you are refusing, you don't need to say yes. You have to say, I would like to, but I can't. I cannot sleep at night. Is okay, it clear? Yes. All right. I got it. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, let me know. Okay, guys, uh, let's check the next one, the knowledge check. And it says, instructions, read the following invitation and select the best response. Remember, would can be used to make an invitation or to uh, give an offers. So for the number one, please, uh, Ana Flores, select the best option, complete the, I mean, complete the sentence. Uh-huh. Say a hard ticket to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to, or I would love to. Thank you. Geraldine, number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. I like, but I have to work late. Okay. I like, I have to work I like. late. Mm -hmm. Number three, uh, let me select another person. Um, hmm. Hector, go ahead, please. Hector, Jose. Okay, Leila, go ahead, please. The number three, teacher. Yes. Would you like go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Okay, and what would be the right, I mean, the best answer? Um, yes, I really like to go. First option or second option? Once. Okay, first yes. option. Thank you. Yes. Kevin, number, okay, thank you, Luis Miguel, for letting me know about your camera. Kevin, number four. Okay, would you like to go a uh, soccer match next Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Okay, and the last one, Alexandra. Uh, would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? Um, I'd like to, but I have to work. First option or second option? Second. Take an option, okay. All right, let's see. We have one mistake here. It says, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night?
Ajá. I would like to put I would like I to. Would like to have a meeting. meeting. Okay, let's see. Yay, excellent. Okay, now let's move to the last one. The last part over here. So, I'm going to read it. We have five more minutes. In this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. A scanning for important information will be developed. Let's see. Okay. So we had the information about Christina Aguilera. Let me just check. So we're on section four. By the way, let me see if I can make it bigger. Ah, okay. So, uh, Geraldine, read the first part, please. Christina, okay. So far has multiple high singles. Mm -hmm. She has found all age. Mm -hmm. And many people say the the people say he she is the best singer of the generation. She's Christina Aguilar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here are some highlights of Christina's lives and career. Okay, let me see if I can make a beer. So I need another volunteer. Kevin, can you please read these two parts over here? Yeah, okay. 1980. Uh... 1980, Christina is born on December 18 in New York. Uh, 1988, Christina first appears on television in a star search a television talent show. Okay, thank you. Uh, Geraldine, read this to timeline. Christine is on TV in Disney and uh, Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi. Nakanishi. Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She was Japan. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Luis. If you can read this part. David. Okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Come on, Luis. I can okay. read. Okay, come on, Luis. Okay. 1998, Christine sing a song of the Disney movie Mulan. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1999, Christina has very, uh, has her first big hits, Genie and Abara. Okay, thank you. Uh, David, continue. Teacher, sorry. How uh, does it say 2001 in English? No, uh, 2001. 2001, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 2001, along with other single Christina records, Lady Marmalade for the movie Morning Road. Okay. In, in 2012, Christina performed at mm -hmm. the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. Thank you. Geraldine, the last one. 2004. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Christina Wentz. Okay. No puedo hacer grande la pantalla, permítame. Okay. Christina Wentz. 
Kusina performed of the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Mm -hmm. Kusina wins the best female for vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Okay, thank you. Now, let me go ahead and answer. Let's see, she thinks of the Winter Olympic Games. So according to the reading, it says, read the article, they number this sentence from one to the eighth event. Okay, so there you have how many events? You have two, four, six, eight, nine. All right, so she sings at the winner Olympic games. What number will it be guys? Seven. Eight. 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 Seven. Eight. Okay. Seven. 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 For me, it's seven. Seven. Okay, she's born in New York. She's the one. one. One, okay. Uh, she wins a Grammy for Beautiful. Eight. 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 She records a song for Disney movie. Five. 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 And you also have, she travels around Japan. Four. 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 She works with Britney Spears. Three. 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 She's on television for the first time. Two. 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 And she has her first very successful song. Six. 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 Okay, those are your answers. Let's see. Yay, excellent. Great guys. Good job. Good job. Very good job. Now, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Vaya, eh, tienen un minuto, una pregunta relacionada a la clase. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. No, pues como no es relacionada a la clase, no le no pregunto nada. ¿Alguna pregunta relacionada a la clase? Vaya, entonces no les quito más tiempo, solamente recuerden que hay que avanzar con las unidades. Y ahora terminamos con la unidad 4. Mañana vamos a empezar con las 5 porque eh, vi en el grupo que les están pidiendo que vayan avanzando. ¿Sí? Entonces, este, eso, avancen lo más que puedan porque ya el jueves van a actualizar eh, sus notas o cómo van hasta el momento. Espero que les haya gustado la clase. Los dejo hasta acá. Feliz provecho si no han cenado. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you there. Bye-bye.